Hi, I'm Andrea Campbell, and I'm going to be reading today, Curious George Plants a Tree. I chose this book for a couple reasons. My son Jonathan is four years old, and he loves Curious George. But also, today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and I thought this would be a fun way to celebrate while we read. Curious George Plants a Tree. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was a good day to be curious. The man with the yellow hat was taking George to the science museum. The museum was one of George's favorite places. There was always something new to see and interesting to learn. Often there was a special exhibit. George wanted to know what it was today, but first he had to make his favorite museum stops. The rocket room, the mirror maze, and the butterfly space. Finally, George and his friend made it to the special exhibits room. The sign read, how you can take care of the planet. George learned many things, how all people, animals, plants, air, and water on the planet make up the environment, how trees help keep the air clean, and how people can help protect the environment from pollution and too much trash. George had a great time and didn't get into any of his usual mischief. As he and his friend were leaving, they bumped into the museum director. Dr. Lee looked happy to see him. How is my best monkey visitor? Dr. Lee asked George. I'm so glad I ran into you. I wanted to tell you that we're having a Green Day rally tomorrow at the park. George was curious. Whatever a rally was, he was sure that the park was a good place to do it. We're going to plant a truckload of trees and collect use paper for recycling, Dr. Lee explained. We didn't have too much time to advertise, but we need lots of volunteers. How would you like to help out? There was nothing that George liked better than to help. What a great idea, the man agreed. We'll be there. That night, George was ready to do his part for the recycling drive. He gathered every newspaper in the house. He stacked old mail on top of the papers. He piled empty cardboard boxes and food curtains on top of that. What a heap! What more could he add? George scratched his head. Then he took several books off his bedroom shelf. Just as George was about to add them to his recycling pile, someone lifted the books out of his hands. Not so fast, George, the man said. These books are made of paper all right, but you can read them and enjoy them many times. And when you're done, you can donate them to other kids or your library. Reusing is just as important as recycling. The next morning, George and his friends set out for the park with their wagon of neatly stacked paper. Suddenly, the man stopped and said, I forgot my gardening gloves. Go on, George, without me. I'll be there soon. As George walked down the street, he spotted several newspapers lying about on his neighbor's front stoops. George had an idea. He had lots of room in his wagon. He could recycle all of those newspapers. And the newspapers were not the only things he could recycle. He noticed a stack of paper cups sitting on the table under a tree. Into the wagon they went. So did a pile of magazines and a heap of paper someone left on the sidewalk. George was happy with his great load. At the park, he found Dr. Lee standing under a big banner. Good morning, George, Dr. Lee said. I'm so glad you came and brought all of your friends. We need lots of help to get the job done. George turned around. He was surprised to see so many faces, but they did not look very helpful. They looked angry. The man with the yellow hat arrived just in time. He explained to their neighbors that George was gathering paper for a good cause. They were no longer mad. They even stayed to help plant the trees. George, you saved our green day, Dr. Lee said with gratitude. These trees will provide fresh air and each summer we'll get more shade, which means we'll use less water to keep the grass green. Thank you. Being a monkey, George had known all along how important trees were.